Hello and welcome to my processing workflow for a stack picture from Deep Sky Stacker. This is the North American Nebula. It is 2 hours and 50 minutes total exposure time uh, and it was taken with a telephoto lens, so actually not a telescope, but it works as a telescope. This is right off the stack. You can see clearly that there is some really well, quite bright nebulosity here and you can see some other nebulosity here and there is a slight bit here there is one problem though with this and that is that over here these stars for some reason every time I stack it these stars in this region they're all like this well to fix that we will crop it down I think this is roughly about okay press enter um, that is okay we can always try and get rid of that later so what we want to start with is we want to do a um, image mode and we want to get it to 16 bits per channel and this is wrong because you can see it is at local adaptation which does not look at all like the 32 bit this is just just a transformer here, if you do exposure and gamma, that looks exactly like it was, so that that's okay. It didn't change much. So this is the original, and this is you, you, you can't see the difference. Um, then we want to do the layer, new adjustment layer, threshold. Now, this is to find the black point. What we want to do is we want to get a color sampler tool, a 5x5 five five average, and we want to have a look where the darkest point in this image is now clearly you can see here this is already really bright and we can try to get this one here then what's important we can just delete this layer because we found it already oh, not play, delete. Um, we have to go to Stellarium to find a white star now I've already done this so I already know which one but just to show you how you can see I will demonstrate. Here is the North American Nebula. You can see the this part here. Um, I already know this star here looks really white. It has a kind of bluish glow, but when you see it, it clearly does look white. So we need to look for something that looks like a triangle. We let its end, it has two stars. I already know where to find this. Um, and it is over here. This is the triangle and this is the white star. You can already see it's pretty much white already. Now what we want to be doing is we want to do the levels. So we're going to go to levels and then we're going to go to red. Now you see here this is the black point. Number one is the black point and it's now at 101 and it's way too high because we want to get that down to like roughly about I guess 20, 27 or something like that. So we want to get all of them down to 27 so it's equalized. So we'll do this 94, 90, yeah, this, it, sometimes you get this, sometimes you get, you can't, you can't do it um, exactly at 27, so then I'll do 28 for now. Uh, then I'll do blue one. That one can go to 27. Okay, now you can already clearly see that the white balance did help a lot with the image. You see, I didn't clip the white balance too much as the background isn't completely black, which is not what we want to have because if the background is completely black, then it looks a bit weird and it looks a little bit over edited. So now, for the white star, we need to do another levels, and we need to look at this here. All of these have to be 248, so we're going to start, this one is 248 now, and this one is 249, 46, 48, oh, sometimes you need to write it in this. We need to write it in the text box. Blue, 
248. Okay, well now we've got we neutralized all the stars so we can get some nice orange stars here and some nice blue stars over here. And if you look at this one here, this one now looks nice and white, just as it's supposed to be. So, um, if you might notice over here, there's a really blue tinge. And over here there's a green tinge. We want to get rid of those because it's basically like a irregularity in the image. And I've had this way worse in images before this, so but this is still necessary because you want to do here, you want to get the levels and you want to basically neutralize this. So you want to do another sampler tool. Oh, color sampler tool. You want to do a new adjustment layer again for the fresh threshold. And then you want to have a look where is the darkest point. Well, now the darkest point is here again, so that's number three now. You can delete the threshold layer. Nope, let me duplicate. Delete. And now, if we do this, you can clearly see that this is this is the blue part. It's kind of like perfect. Um, we then do levels on that. You can see it's not 27, clearly it's all 32, 33, 40. So we're going to get it to 26, if 26 is the real. Now, that looks okay. Now, the entire image is now balanced for as far as it can be. Now, what we want to do is we want to add a new layer, new adjustment layer, and curves. Now, what this will allow us to do is to extract more nebulosity. As you can see here, I'm extracting also more data from that. I'm extracting more background. So, I am going to place a tiny extra thing, thing there so now I'm only extracting the nebulosity if you check you can see that it improved quite a lot now we can go on doing this um, but first we can see here that there is some significant color noise so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do reduce noise see here if we do reduce color noise then it will neutralize it to a more or less neutral background so we want to do strength one um, strength two maybe yeah, and about strength three looks about neutral and then we've got a uh, a flatter background with uh, less pixels So now we're just going to double check, this is the image itself, and if we double check here, that's nice and cleaned up, and we still preserve the star brightness, it's just getting rid of all these weird jiggly um, pixels. Now, now we can do another adjustment layer. And with this adjustment layer, we're going to do the same thing again. But then we're going to keep this down a little bit like that, I think. And this 
a little bit too much for me so I'm going to be about something like this this looks okay then once we've done the new curves layer we're just going to check how it looks like without it and with it without it with it the stars might look a lot blown out to fix this we're going to do a process called star reduction so what we first want to do is we want to do select color range and then we want to go to highlights now we can right now we selected all the bright stars we press ok and as you can see it selected them but first we must do select modify expand by two pixels and then feather so that's nice and smooth now to actually reduce the stars we must do filter other minimum you saw already it reduced the stars quite a bit this is zero pixels this is one now this is two it still needs to do it so you can do this then it completely gets rid of the stars so you don't want to do that you don't want to get rid of any stars you just want to reduce it so we do it at two and it reduces the stars I think at an acceptable amount you control H to stop seeing the selection yeah I believe personally that that was okay it might have been overkill so we're gonna try it again with only one pixel this is reduced but not too much we still maintain the roundness of the stars um, but it's just a little bit smaller um, however I don't know if um, how the two pixel looks I think this might be the wrong, the wrong filter. And we also do select again the color range and the highlights, and then filter. I think we need to do this though. Filter other minimum, and if we do two pixels. Is this too much? That's that's the real question. Um, over here, I don't really like uh, the star here. Looked round and now not anymore. And it actually got rid of some of the stars. But in the overall image, if we look at it like this, which is the way you should be looking at it, it does look better. It looks nice and smooth. And we want to get the nebula out and not the stars all too much. So now we've got it centered up. This image is almost completely done now. The only thing we might want to do is we might want to get some more get some more contrast out of it. But to do that, we might just also just get the. Um so I think this image is pretty much done now. Uh, you can clearly see here that this part here is more light and this as well and if you look at Stellarium that is actually true because uh, this is the dark nebula on the Milky Way we need to fast forward this oh, it's not dark yet okay so now if we look at the neb you can clearly see here there's a dark nebula running this way it runs here and then to the left of it here you see the dark nebula run here and then to the left of it there is supposed to be a lighter bluer area which you can clearly see here and over here you can see that there's a lighter area which is also apparent here it's always handy to check these things now what I want to do here is I want to extract more of this so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the parts where I want to extract it so it won't uh, affect the whole image then I'll do the refine edge filter 
and then I'll do something called selective curves. So we do a new adjustment layer again, curves. Now selective curves, this, what, what it means is you do, I think you need to, uh, yeah, you need to get a color picker. Nope. You need to get a, no, no. You need not, not to make a new layer. You need to do that. Uh, you need to do the layers need to do the curves in this now to get the selective curves you need to do control click on the parts that you want to darken and that is this here and the parts that you want to keep the same so that is this you need to do that you need to keep it like that and now if we do this you can already start to see more of the nebulous detail inside of the uh, core it's it's very very subtle and if you see it's it's just enhancing those those bands here and it's just darkening the middle just to get some more punch out of the nebula oh well I don't really want to darken it too much so and do it very very subtly not like that but like that and then I want to keep that down a little bit so this is just very ever so subtle and it just clears up the image a little bit it just gets the haze out of the image and just punches it a little bit more so yes I think this image is now complete um, this was my workflow and of course now if you're done with the image you can save it or you can crop it in any part of the image you want and happy astrophotography